Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to estimate a population proportion by creating a confidence interval using Minitab Express. And um, we'll assume that we have some information about our sample. Specifically, we'll assume that we know um, how many trials there were and how many successes. Specifically, this came from an example in Chapter 7.3 where um, people were asked if they could recall a phone number that they had heard and 474 out of the 1512 respondents uh, could accurately pick that phone number again. So here we're going to try to find the 95% confidence interval for all people who could accurately pick that phone number. Alright, so this is really easy but there's one thing you got to be careful of so let's get started. So if you're at your home tab you want to first start by going to statistics this is a one sample situation here. It is about a proportion, right? So we click proportion. Our sample data is not in a column. We want to click this arrow and input the summarized data and it immediately changes the menu of things that it would like you to put in. Um, so here there's the number of events and the number of trials. Now I always accidentally put, you know, 15 12 for the number of events, but that's actually the number of trials. All right, 15, 12, that's how many people took the survey. Number of events is really what we call in the book the number of successes. So it's 474 were the number of people who could correctly recall the phone number. Uh, we're not doing a hypothesis test, and we want the 90% confidence interval, so we have to go here and change that to 90. Now here's the tricky part I warned you about. In most textbooks, um, they don't actually use the binomial distribution for these types of confidence intervals. They use the normal approximation to the binomial distribution. Um, and that's the case in my textbook. So you need to, if you want your answers to match answers in, the, in books and often on homework or tests or quizzes online where you know you have to have the same you know, the exact same number, you're going to want to switch this over to normal approximation, right? And so for my course, for my online uh, material, you'll need to do that. Change it over to normal approximation. This exact, which is the default, is actually more accurate, but it's just not used as often. So we're going to go with the normal approximation, and that'll kick out our um, confidence interval. So you come down here, there's the confidence interval, it's 0.93868 to 0.333116. And when we did this um, by hand, using the margin of error and um, let's see the Z, the Z table for your critical values, uh, we got an answer of 0.293 to 0.333. You'll notice those match what we got here with Minitab. Only it was a whole lot faster and a whole lot easier. But you do have to remember when you're doing this and you come to this phase where you're selecting your options, choose the normal approximation. All right? So that about wraps it up. Bye.